everyone. Welcome to Sacred Saints. Today we are going to be talking about St. Christina the Astonishing. St. Christina the Astonishing lived in the early or the late 12th century and early 13th century. She lived right around the time that the Catholic Church was forming what now is recognized as mod the modern canonization process. St. Christina the Astonishing actually is technically not confirmed as a saint in the Catholic Church, but is recognized as one, and there is great devotion to her to this day in Belgium. So let's find out what was so astonishing about St. Christina. In 1150, she was born in a small town in what is present-day Belgium. She was orphaned at a young age and was therefore stricken with poverty and hunger. While she was a teenager, she was able to find work as a shepherdess, which is a female shepherd. In her early 20s, she suffered from a massive seizure. After her seizure, she was left lying on the ground completely limp. Those who found her soon realized that she was not breathing and that her heart was not beating. After they noticed this, she noticed this, she was pronounced dead. Soon after, the local parish held a funeral for the young woman. The end. Just kidding. <laughs> Though all of God's creatures are astonishing in their own right, not many astonishing things have happened in her story yet, but that's about to change. This is where it gets astonishing. In the middle of St. Christina's funeral, she suddenly awoke. She realized that she was full of energy and got right to her feet like nothing had happened. She then realized she was in a room full of people. Suddenly, to the surprise of those who are around her, she started levitating and flew up to the roof. After some time, she finally stopped levitating and explained to everyone that she had actually died. After her soul separated from her body, she was given a glimpse of purgatory. She described it as being horrible. She then met God and he gave her a choice. She could either remain dead and go to heaven or return to earth and do penance for those in purgatory. She chose to do the latter and was brought back to life. After her funeral, there was, at her funeral was not the only time she levitated. She was said to have done it many times throughout her life. She was also said to be able to smell the sin of others. Remembering her choice to come back and do penance for those in purgatory, she took this very seriously. Throughout the duration of her life, she lived in extreme poverty, where she only wore rags and lived without a home. She would also avoid human contact as much as possible, because of her ability to smell sin of others, but also to, as a form of penance. She would also seek out direct suffering. She would throw herself into fires and remain there for periods of time. She would suffer greatly and screech and yell out in pain. She would also allow herself to be attacked by dogs and would intentionally, intentionally run her body through thickets of thorn bushes. She would immerse herself in a nearby river during winter and remain there, suffering in the cold, sometimes for as long as days. Another astonishing part of St. Saint Saint Christina, the astonishing story, is that she would come out of these situations entirely unharmed. Some people considered her to really have experienced these miracles, but some believed that she was insane. She was actually jailed twice in her life, but both times were brief. After she was released from jail for the second time, she joined the Dominican monastery. After examining her behavior, her prioress, the Monsignor, in the monastery said that though she was extreme, she was always very obedient. Her reputation started to spread about how extreme she was in her faith. So many people started coming 
to her for wisdom and advice on religious matters. Even despite her pushing through so many physical strains, she ended up living to the old age of 97. And then she died of natural causes, which is astonishing. It is worth noting that there are countless peasants who witnessed these occurrence, occurrences, as well as historian Cardinal Jacques de Virti, who also claimed to have personally witnessed her incredible behavior. Many who are now canonized as saints who came after her also have held her in high regards. St. Christina the Astonishing is the patron of Miller's, those suffering from mental illness and mental health workers. Her life is also mentioned in the Catechism of the Catholic Church. St. Christina the Astonishing lived an incredible life. She continues to intercede for those who struggle with mental health issues and those who are mental health workers. She is a wonderful saint to go to for the intercession of hardships as you are facing them. Her story is also wonderfully inspiring as she endured countless hardships in her life, and she was able to conquer them all with faith, devotion, and love for God. I pray that all who are struggling in any way with mental health hardships may receive hope and grace from our great God and can find relief in their struggles. Amen.